dramatic scenes emerged from Lahore as the police fired water cannons and tear gas shells at the supporters of Imran Khan as they reached his residence in Lahore to arrest him in the Tosha Khana case. The supporters of the former Prime Minister blocked the police from reaching his home in Lahore and the standoff continues. The police used armoured vehicles fitted with water cannons. Imran Khan is accused of unlawfully retaining and then allegedly selling expensive gifts that he received as head of the government. The Federal Investigation Agency filed charges against him in an anti-corruption court which last week issued the arrest warrant after Imran Khan failed to appear in the court despite repeated summons. Imran Khan has been demanding a snap election since his ouster from the office in a parliamentary vote early last year, a demand that was rejected by his successor Shehbaz Sharif, who had said the vote would be held as scheduled later this year. Khan has been busy rallying support for himself with massive rallies across the country. message released by Khan, he urged the citizens to stand by him while alleging a political conspiracy against him. My Pakistani police came to jail in jail. And they thought that when Imran Khan will go to jail, the people will sleep. But if I have something or go to jail or kill me, you have to prove that Imran Khan is not the same without the same person who will do this without جد و جہد کرے گی اور یہ بدترین غلامی ان چوروں کی اور یہ جو ایک آدمی فیصلے کر رہا ہے اس ملک کے یہ کبھی آپ قبول نہیں کریں گے Former diplomat uh, Dilip Sinha is now joining us uh, here on the show. He has served in India's mission in Islamabad. Uh, many thanks, uh, uh, sir, for speaking with us here. First of all, what we are witnessing right now in Pakistan, is it something that, uh, you know, almost always happens when there is some sort of a regime change or uh, the opposition is to be targeted in Pakistan? Well, yes, this is part of course in Pakistani politics. Uh, opposition leaders in Pakistan uh, either spend their time in jail or in exile. So uh, the, the previous prime minister, well, not the previous prime minister, the prime minister before Imran Khan, Nawaz Sharif is 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 out on on. on well, he has an arrest warrant against him and he's at Sonding in London. Uh, he had spent two years in jail before he was released uh, on health grounds and then he refused to come back. Earlier, uh, leaders also, Benazir Bhutto, had spent a long time uh, abroad, uh, as did Musharraf. So this is, this is normal for Pakistan. The problem is that uh, there, there is so much political vendetta. Hmm. Uh, and even in this case also, the allegation that uh, Imran Khan and his party is making is that there, there is political vendetta and there is definitely an element of that because there are about 40 cases registered against him. Now, I'm sure many of them would, would probably go through a court and he'll get sentenced. Hmm. Uh, but the fact remains that, the, that it is a, a witch hunt where uh, the government goes after the previous uh, government and tries to ensure that uh, the previous leader stays behind bars. Hmm. In this particular case, one of the problems is that Imran Khan is, is clearly quite popular in Pakistan. And the present government has taken over at a very difficult time. Uh, they were very keen to oust Imran Khan, but in the process, they took over an economy that was in tatters. Hmm. And they have had to implement all the difficult IMF conditionalities, which has made the present government extremely unpopular. The Pakistani currency is collapsing. The inflation is rampant. Inflation rates have, uh, interest rates have reached sky high. So the blame for all the IMF conditionalities and all these difficult economic decisions are now being taken by the present government, hmm. which is making it extremely unpopular. Hmm. And Imran Khan is just sitting back and hoping that he will ride out the present uh, court cases and uh, take the battle to the streets hmm. and to the ballot box uh, where he will win. Sir, I want to understand from you uh, this, uh, the concept of the Tosha Khana, a similar concept is also followed in India. Uh, what are the differences in, in, in between uh, India and Pakistan as far as uh, that procedure is concerned? And what exactly does the allegation mean here? Well, the allegation against uh, Imran Khan is that he received expensive gifts, uh, but instead of depositing them in the Tosha Khana, he kept them with him and he sold many of them. And these were extremely expensive gifts, so he made a tiny package uh, by the sales. Uh, the rule in India is very similar to uh, what prevails in Pakistan. Uh, if gifts have to be 
deposited in the tosha khana they are valued uh, and if uh, the person who has received the gifts is prepared to pay the price then he can retain those gifts uh, otherwise they remain in the tosha khana but recently the rules have been changed and i believe uh, now most gifts that our prime minister receives are kept in the tosha khana and then they are put on display hmm. so uh, the, the rules are far better are far more strictly enforced in india than they are clearly in pakistan Uh, which ensures that uh, this kind of a thing especially selling of tosha khana gifts by uh, the prime minister does not take place in india absolutely and what we've also seen sir uh, that uh, the investigation into the matter has thrown up other names as well nawaz sharif's name is there uh, the former uh, president who recently passed away uh, musharraf's name is there even asif ali zardari's name is there uh, the pti is uh, saying that different yardsticks are being used and this is a political vendetta now on the ground sir we have seen a uh, standoff between the police and the pti uh, imran khan's party supporters there as well are we likely to see these dramatic scenes uh, uh, continue because uh, their interior minister has indicated that the arrest will take place tonight so uh, shall we be ready for dramatic scenes going by what we have seen in the pakistani politics i am afraid yes because uh, there is indication that the rangers have been called in now these are armed police so uh, they will probably try and uh, arrest imran khan in the wee hours of the morning when it is relatively easy to do so because most people are likely to disperse but one doesn't know in the case of imran khan supporters uh, whether they will disperse or they will hang around there to to prevent uh, uh, imran khan from being arrested hmm. now uh, if if there is a confrontation if there is any casualties then again uh, the government will take the rap for it because uh, nobody likes uh, civilians being killed by uh, armed forces Uh, and as far as the the issue of other leaders misusing their gifts and not depositing them in the tosha khana i'm sure they most of them would be correct because hmm. uh, as the information that's been released uh, shows that earlier leaders also have possibly indulged in this so uh, imran khan's allegation that he's uh, being targeted for political reasons will definitely uh, find a lot of resonance among the people All right, sir. I, I'll request you, uh, you know, to dwell upon uh, the aspect of uh, a political conspiracy that Imran Khan's party is alleging here. We'll run uh, the video of what Imran Khan said, as well as what his uh, uh, party spokesperson told us uh, uh, earlier this evening. Uh, both uh, also claiming that this is a means by the present government to delay elections in Pakistan. Uh, do you believe? And as you were saying earlier, the government at the moment seems unpopular because of the IMF restrictions. that they are trying to now impose do you think that there could be on part of the government an effort to delay uh, the elections in pakistan because they need to have their own house in order to be able to go before the people that is quite possible uh, that that uh, in case the law and order situation deteriorates uh, then the uh, government may uh, think in terms of postponing the elections but there is an equal likelihood that if the situation deteriorates uh, and the people get tired of these uh, political leaders squabbling over uh, issues like the tosha khana then the uh, yearning will start for the army to come back and uh, while the army has for since musharraf still kept itself in the background uh, in case the situation deteriorates uh, and the people start clamoring for it as many uh, urban people in pakistan particularly start clamoring for hmm. then the army would find it very easy to move in and take over interesting uh, sir stay on with us let's quickly listen into what uh, the pti spokesperson uh, told us this evening they are now alleging that there is a conspiracy to delay the elections in pakistan uh, we spoke to abdul samad Uh, why is your party uh, why are your party members preventing this arrest uh, because uh, this is under legal provisions this is to be done isn't it I mean, do you call it illegal when there are eighty-three cases uh, against uh, uh, Imran Khan where he is accused? It's not humanly possible uh, for any person to appear in eighty-three uh, uh, cases in the courts. So this is, I mean, in a deep state, in a deep state currently in a sham de- democracy which is being practiced now in Pakistan, this fascist regime uh, takes the same measures. I mean, it becomes the norms. that uh, the most political leader who has yesterday launched his uh, 
campaign is an election campaign and today they have made this drama so what do you expect from them this uh, those who are uh, most unpopular uh, those who are uh, incumbent government this incumbent government is the most unpopular government uh, ever in pakistan so they are trying to i mean uh, create the law and order situation and the hidden agenda is to postpone the elections so ultimately in in any of 83 cases i mean if not in tosha khana case or a judge case maybe in some other case they are going to ultimately arrest him right that's the pti spokesperson there are also saying that it does appear that uh, the government is after imran khan and will ultimately arrest him uh, many thanks dilip sana uh, for joining us here on the discussion tonight